Hey there everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and to my latest Motivation Monday. Hope you're all doing well today. In today's video, I'm doing a new season house reset. So I think I'm filming this a day or two after Halloween and it is time to take down all of the Halloween autumnal decorations in the house. So I'm starting in this area and I'm gonna clean as I go. So every area that I take down the decorations, I will clean it after afterwards to save me going back and forth and back and forth so I'm just using the Fabulosa surface polish on our toy unit here to wipe it down I have to tell you it does feel good to take all of this stuff down I mean what even is this we had a little Halloween party with some school friends at the weekend and got all the fun decorations out but I love Halloween, I love autumn, but I felt really, really good putting all this away. I'm looking forward to having the house with zero decorations for a few weeks before obviously the Christmas madness starts. So I'm gonna pack everything away into my ginormous autumn decor box and it will go back into the attic. I'm using the surface polish again on the dining table just to give it a wipe down, make it all nice and fresh and clean before I put my flowers back on here that I haven't seen for what feels like forever. I'm gonna use a flash spray on the bench because it is covered in lots of tough marks from Halloween food, <laughs> which is obviously all like bright orange and red. I think there's felt tip on here, so I really had to go to town scrubbing this and getting off some tough marks, but I managed to get most of them off. Next up, I'm gonna take down all of our cobweb decor that's in the kitchen here. I could not wait to take this down and get it out of the way. It took much longer than what you're seeing here. It was stuck on every possible corner and crevice and it felt like it took forever to get it down. Like I said, we did have a little party for the kids, so there are some pretty extravagant things like this that Leo and Clint had fun doing together that I cannot wait again to pull off my floor. That little haunted house, we had a giant cardboard box, we thought it'd be fun to turn it into a haunted house for the kids, which I'm now going to dismantle. I'm not going to be sorry to say goodbye to this. Every time I walk past the kitchen and I can't catch it in the corner of my eye, I think that there is someone stood in my garden. I'm going to give these shells a quick dust as well when I take all of the skeletons and the pumpkins off there. I also made Cooper's Market store a bit autumnal and put lots of um, pretend pumpkins in there. So I'm gonna sift through, try and find them all and take them out ready for next year. Oh my gosh, this stuff was such a pain to take up. If you're wondering why the house looks a mess and why there's plastic all over the stairs, we are having our ensuite renovated this week so what you can see there is the shower tray <laughs> the plumber's feet <laughs> and yeah there's a lot going on in the house at the moment that I'll be able to show you really soon into the living room now and I'm going to do exactly the same I'm going to take down all of the pumpkin and autumn decor and I'm going to dust and clean as I go Now it's time to put all of my normal decor bits back on the shelves. I'm gonna put all of my things back where they belong 
that have been patiently waiting up in the spare room for the past few weeks. While I'm here and while I've got the cleaning things out, I'm gonna give the kitchen a quick once over as well and just wipe down the surfaces. And I will put back my little kitchen plant in the corner that's not been there for ages because I've had um, a pumpkin witch, as my two-year-old likes to call it. So that is now gone and I'm gonna put my lovely green plant back there instead. Oh my goodness, a mix of having the boys home for the holidays for a week and having all the kids for the Halloween party, the sofa has taken a bit of a battering. There are water, drink, food marks all over it. I don't even know what this is to be honest. I think this is a smoothie mark. So I'm gonna use a flash surface spray and a cloth just to touch clean all of the marks that I can find on the sofa. These sofas always clean up incredibly well. They are the Clever Velvet fabric from Loaf. We have the same fabric on our sofas in the living room and they always, always clean so easily. So here you go, everything is put back in my giant box and I'm gonna take it upstairs ready to be put in the attic as soon as I get Clint to do it because I am not putting that heavy box up in the attic. I'm gonna run the vacuum cleaner around now. I feel like the floors are just covered in cobweb bits, Halloween bits, costume bits. It just feels really dirty in here and I cannot wait to hoover everything up. I was planning to mop afterwards as well but I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow because it's time to collect my two-year-old from nursery but guys thank you so much for watching my latest video don't forget to subscribe for three videos a week and I'll see you in my next one